Welcome back. Aerostar is hoping to get the community involved and teach more about what the company does by holding some community activities and joining me to speak about some of those said community activities and the company itself and the impact that it's making. Jim Nelson, the Aerostar president. So let's talk a little bit about the uh, brand new planetarium that's opening up that's over at the Washington Pavilion. What, uh, what's the new hoopla about that? Yeah, we're really excited about that. Working with the Washington Pavilion to open the Sweeten uh, Planetarium, replacing um, uh, the Cynodome mm -hmm. and upgrading that to a world-class planetarium. Um, we're fortunate enough to partner with them to be sponsoring this, the, um, uh, the programming for that. Mm -hmm. So really exciting thing for the city of Sioux Falls and happy that we could be involved. And with some of these changes and some of these moves, you all have some new events and some new things to look forward to in the immediate future. Also, just later on down the road in, the, in a couple of months, what are some of the big ones on your list and which ones you're looking so, uh, forward to? Yeah, there's so much excitement going on. Uh, with Aerostar, we've been uh, here in the Sioux Falls area uh, for over 65 years, mm -hmm. You know, starting with Raven Industries. Uh, we recently separated. It'll be a year coming up uh, this Thursday. Um, but uh, as we've separated from Raven and established our new identity, uh, one of our core guiding principles is to make a difference. Mm -hmm. And so getting involved with the community, um, getting in, um, making a difference local is important to us. Uh, so just the near term, there's just so many exciting things. Mm -hmm. This week, we have Discover Aviation Day where we're a sponsor there out at the Maverick Air Center. The air show this weekend uh, at the end, in the beginning of September is with the Pavilion. Uh, and then we uh, hosting Balloon Day mm -hmm. is a thing that we've done. Uh, we had to stop for COVID, but where we can bring uh, lo local students from middle school and high school uh, out to our plants and see what we do in Aerostar uh, at our plants and how to fly aerospace uh, activities here. That's October 5th. Uh, at our plant here in Sioux Falls and different schools can get engaged. Uh, and then another one is uh, what we're calling the AeroSteam University for the Girl Scouts. Mm -hmm. uh, so on uh, November 4th, uh, we'll be hosting that out at um, Southeast Technical Institute uh, where we'll be teaching uh, young girls about aerospace and get excited in STEAM careers. You all have your toes in the water in a, in a bunch of different puddles, the way it yeah. seems like, but what's it like to kind of, uh, you personally take the challenge on of diversifying, trying to be a little bit more in the community and help provide these other opportunities for people that are looking to maybe learn something new as well too. Yeah, well we just love it and it's a passion that we have and that I have uh, with really giving back. So being part of the community and you know being a small town farm kid mm -hmm. uh, that you can do really exciting things here in, and locally in Sioux Falls uh, that you don't have to go far uh, to, to go to the up to the stratosphere. All right, well Jim we're looking forward again to see some of these and get to see how the uh, community is going to get involved in this as well, too. Thank you again for your time and getting to highlight uh, some of the things that are coming up in the immediate future for the most part. All right. Thank you so much. Of course. we got a final check of the forecast coming up after this.